Aurora TV, the world is thinking. What is it that motivates a young man like Faisal Shahzad, uh, who was living the American dream, who found a visa to this country, who found, uh, you know... Well, I say if he still had a job, he wouldn't have done that. Well, so when economic times get more difficult, young people tend to be drawn more Well, I have a problem easily. with that. I have a problem with okay. that. This, I have a problem with that. I don't know well, who that let, was let for. Me, let me say it fast. Let <laughs> me say it fast. Let me say the problem that I have with it. Okay. If, if we accept, if we find it acceptable, if we even remotely entertain the idea that if you lose your job, that there's one way to express your misery, and that's by killing other people. We are really going down. I mean, ever since 45 million or 45,000 years ago, when humanity, became, after Homo sapiens, we, humans have known misery. They've lost their livelihoods. They had to recreate it. Some didn't um, accomplish it. Some did, some were heroic. Literature is all about that. Human history is all about that. If we start to acknowledge and entertain the idea that foreclosures and healthcare and all kinds of normal adversity is an excuse to take away the lives of others, to take away a guy with an MBA who gives up his job and decides, hey, the only way for therapy is to get an SUV and fill it with probane well, gas put it and bottle right? other people. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that, but. Of course, if you put it that way, it sounds ridiculous, but. But I'm sorry, but, I, but that's, that is the problem with that argument. And we've seen it, over, he has, a freaking MBA. Yeah. He could have done something else. I know people who can't read or write and who, go, who have jobs. They work two jobs, three jobs, and they feed I'm their kids. Saying. I have friends in New York who had to sell their houses and move to the country and had to scale down. I know lots and lots of people who scaled yeah, down, right. but I don't know anybody who sat together, even when we drink lots and lots of drinks, who say, let's go kill other people. Let's blow no, I, I, I agree with you. And, and I, I that's the problem with that argument, but that's why I'm saying let's not excuse them. Let's look at what he said and what he did and his activities. Major Nidal be, gets to be a major in a voluntary military. He volunteered and he goes and kills okay. his, fellow, his fellow military men. And he doesn't say it's because he was called a racist. He calls for Allahu Akbar any of the written email exchanges that he has had with Anwar al-Awlaki was, I want to join you in the hereafter. He wasn't talking about how his colleagues were racist and so on. The guy who killed Theo van Gogh, for a long time, the entire Dutch nation was speculating about how Theo van Gogh might have offended him by calling Muslims goat fuckers. When, he, when that man got a chance to talk, he said, oh, no, 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 I wasn't insulted at all by that. I was doing it for God. And I just think, why don't we take these people at their word? Why don't we just examine their convictions? Mm -hmm. And...